We live in the digital age, an age where mankind has never had access to so much information. The web has changed every aspect of society. We all have benefited from, from the web. The internet with all the information that you get from Google, Flickr and Facebook has created tremendous opportunities for businesses and for people to connect. Vast quantities of knowledge, isolated, disconnected, it becomes impossible for us to find, understand, integrate and keep track of it all. The information is not necessarily available where you need it and when you need it. Knowledge is so fragmented. We need to bring the knowledge together, make it much more accessible. What you need on, a, on an operational basis is uh, knowledge that means something that you can base your decisions on. However, the internet as we know it is set to change, creating something that will revolutionize our lives. Leading this revolution is the Digital Enterprise Research Institute, or DERI, based at the National University of Ireland, Galway. DERI was founded in 2003 with support from Science Foundation Ireland and is the largest web science research institute of its kind. It's an entirely new universe of possibilities. DERI explores, examines the web as it is, but it also engineers the future of the web. As a philosophy in Derry, we really believe in the uh, added value of knowledge when knowledge is interlinked and shared. This revolution will be felt across a wide spectrum, from healthcare to business to environmental monitoring and administration, with benefits for everyone. In the future, we'll be looking at personalized medicine. Your physician will take into consideration your own genetic profile and find the most appropriate treatment for your situation. The world has many problems, from climate change to energy, energy crisis to still hunger, poverty, whatever it is. And everyone has a bit of the answer, but bringing it together is still the big challenge. Let's take a glimpse at the future and see what the world might look like thanks to networked knowledge. The idea of network knowledge is to try and bring together all of these disconnected um, bits of information in a meaningful way. In another 10 years, the web will be interconnected. It will be a network of knowledge. We know we have been successful with our research when in 10 years' time, the technologies that we develop have become so commonplace that they have merged into the fabric of everyday life. The further exploration of that, of this new universe that we are creating, is something that I think will keep us busy and occupied and create value for the country and for the world for the next 50 to 100 years. The internet as we know it is set to be transformed. Derry, based in NUI Galway, is taking a leading role in shaping the upcoming revolution on the internet. Derry is a research institute and as such it has a multiple, of, a multiple different, different functions and it does multiple things. So one thing is we are researching a specific topic. A topic that we think is very exciting, a topic that we think also has the potential to change the web and the world that, that, that we live in. The World Wide Web has transformed how we access and manage information, and mobile devices and apps are changing our everyday lives. Network knowledge will take this to the next level and enable the efficient and intelligent use of the vast information which has become available. The web has changed every aspect of society. We all have benefited from, from the web, specialists as well as the general public. In the same sense, what we are changing uh, is benefiting everybody, every different aspect of society. Network knowledge is an incredibly simple concept. Think of a brain, you have lots of experiences, you learn a lot of things, and what network knowledge does is it tries to mimic the brain and put that information in context. Currently, the information that we are looking for often on the web is fragmented across different places. And you might find that you have to go to a search engine and you have to piece together results that are across different websites. So the idea of network knowledge is to try and bring together all of these disconnected um, bits of information in a meaningful way. Derry is enabling network knowledge by enabling the tools, technologies and standards to connect and interlink data. Its outputs under the umbrella of the semantic web are often published in open source format which accelerates the revolution in networked knowledge. Nowadays, knowledge has become an important currency for businesses, for research and in fact for everyday life. So, by developing the means to find, share, link and combine information more easily, how will Derry's research impact our lives? 
the world has many problems, from climate change to energy, energy crisis to still hunger, poverty, whatever it is. And in order to achieve progress to solve the world's problems, we need to bring the knowledge together, make it much more accessible. What you need on, a, on an operational basis is uh, knowledge that means something that you can base your decisions on. So we turn that data into something where you can make decisions on. That could be for business owners, that could be uh, for uh, buying a certain product and so on. So this transformation of the raw data, uh, connecting that data and then uh, turning it into something where you can do something useful with it. The internet with all uh, the information that you get from Google, Flickr and Facebook has created tremendous opportunities for businesses and for people to connect. However, the information is not necessarily available where you need it and when you need it. What you're doing here in Derry is generating the next generation of internet services. As part of our research in healthcare and life sciences, we are helping to prevent cancer through cancer chemo prevention and linked data. This will help life scientists collaborate more effectively and to establish their knowledge base. One project we're working on is open data, and specifically open government data, and the idea behind that initiative is to put public information online. It improves transparency of the government, that they're more accountable for the decisions that they're making. This information can be seen as a resource that can be used by entrepreneurs, by SMEs, to build a business model or systems and applications around this information. Let's see what the world might look like in the future thanks to the development of the semantic web. Essentially, the semantic web is nothing more than a kind of extension of the web as we know it. Uh, however, it enables uh, an automation of processes and an, an, uh, a wider uh, possibility of things that you can do with the data you have out there. Key results that have impressed me most to date are search technologies that give you more comprehensive and better search results than Google and technologies that will enable completely new applications on your mobile phone. Derry is creating the infrastructure to uh, bring about network knowledge and this is applications in pretty much every walk of life. A couple of the interesting um, application areas, um, one is I suppose in the area of uh, e-health or electronic health. In the future, you will be the patient in the community, not in hospital. You will be remotely monitored by your physicians, by our caregiver network. You will not be another number in the system. You will be the core and the focus of treatment. We'll be looking at personalized medicine. That means that whenever you go to the doctor, your physician will take into consideration your own genetic profile and find the most appropriate treatment for your situation, for your case rather than just relying on a blockbuster drug that is applicable for any sort of case, but it's much less effective. Another good example is the in the government domain, where, again, we have lots of departments in the government that are producing data, and this data is, is quite disconnected from each other. Well, the world will be definitely more participatory, that it won't just be the government at one side and the citizens at the other, but with the help of technologies like that that we're developing here in Derry, that it will bring that gap a little closer, that hopefully the citizens will have more trust in their government and the government will be able to provide the public services that it's their duty to do in a more efficient and effective manner. I believe that the world in about 10 years time with uh, Semantic Web uh, being part of, of our everyday life uh, will enable us to do things faster and more accurate and with less manual work involved. Looking at the world of medicine, the treatment and diagnosis of illness will benefit greatly from the research that is being conducted at Derry. Discoveries in biology can lead to changes in the world. You can learn how to enhance lifespan of the population. You can learn how to improve the quality, nutritional quality of food that has to be delivered in third world countries. More importantly, of course, you can solve disease. An area we are particularly enthusiastic about uh, of working here in Derry is cancer research. Uh, what network knowledge brings to the table for this area is relating the isolated knowledge that thousands of researchers uh, generate wild, uh, worldwide and integrate it to make it accessible for doctors and uh, researchers. This means we generate and detect new scientific facts that otherwise would be lost in paper. One of the key issues that 
Derry is trying to solve is to enable better communication between life scientists. Now, one very recent discovery has been that a drug that had been for many years applied for treating malaria can actually be used to improve cancer treatment. Now, this means that a lot of money that was being spent in developing the new drugs can be avoided because the malaria drug has already gone through clinical trials and can start being immediately applied to cancer therapy. It takes 15 years and $1 billion to create a drug. This is unsustainable in the era of personalized medicine, where a drug is tailored towards you, the patient, and your disease. The importance of this is that in this new era, you will get a drug that is more efficient and more effective and with less side effects. Researchers at Derry are also working on opening up government data so the information from our public services will be available for integration into different services and applications. Well, really, the movement behind open data is quite phenomenal. I mean, in the last few years, it has really progressed a lot. And you can see now over 140 countries and regions worldwide are putting their information online. Governments themselves are seeing the importance of this area and of opening up data and being more in touch with their constituents and citizens. And this can be seen in initiatives by both the American and the UK governments. The Obama administration has set up a lot of various websites where they try and communicate with the citizens and get feedback and so on. And they've also been using one of the technologies that we have developed here in Derry called Shook uh, as part of this initiative. As a philosophy in Derry, we really believe in the uh, added value of knowledge when knowledge is interlinked and shared. And we want to give this power to organizations and to enterprises, which really are a little bit, they, they tend not to, not to share information because of their privacy issues. So giving them the tool and the support to be able to preserve these privacy concerns, then they can take advantage of this big concept of knowledge sharing, knowledge integration, and everything that comes with it. Jerry's work is groundbreaking. Its overall success will be its collaboration with industry in order to apply the research findings in meaningful ways. Industry partners are absolutely critical to the success of Derry. In all the projects that we have, both the funding and the relevance of the outputs that we have depend on the joint outputs that we have with our industry partners. The approach that we have with the industry partners and how we woo industry is that we will put joint proposals together to the various funding agencies. So we would uh, look at a particular case or a particular project that we want to get involved with. We would submit a tender to the funding agencies, such as the government agencies like Science Foundation Ireland or the EU. And then on being successful with that, then we would actually do the project and the relevant outputs then would be disseminated both by the industry partner and by ourselves. So it's really important that we take uh, the world-class research and transfer it into existing or new companies such that we can create companies, jobs and, as I say, an economic impact here in Ireland. So at the moment we're working with everything from large multinational corporations to small startup companies. So what we often do with these guys is we take their vision for their business and prototype it and give them something real that they can use to go and raise inves investment and get their company off the ground. It's extremely important for a technology company like Storm to be involved with Derry. Because we're working all the time with our, our customers, we have access to real world problems, what we call use cases. And being able to bring them here to an organization like Derry and look at the, and talk to them about the ideas they might have and the intellectual property that they have access to and have developed, we can take that and apply it to real world problems with our customers. Making this investment with Derry, and it is an investment on both sides, sends a clear signal to both our customers and our employees that we believe innovation and is a differentiator and provides competitive advantage. Industry benefits in a number of ways from its uh, collaboration with Derry. The community of experts, industry experts that you would have and world leading research experts in particular areas getting together and discussing mutual issues and problems. Successful engagement with industry offers significant benefits for all parties involved. The state has invested in R&D and in creating a world class research facility here in Derry. And if the outputs of that research are to remain in the lab and never go any further, that would be a terrible shame. We present the academic accomplishments of Derry in a non-academic way because all of the people we meet and speak to 
are not academic, almost entirely. So we present a showcase of technologies that are actually there and available as raw material, in some cases as finished product and others, for these companies to work with. And at the end of the project, what they are getting is the technology itself, but also the know-how that has been transferred to the company as you go through the project. So you're commercialising at a number of levels. We have mutually beneficial collaborations with the likes of Cisco, Avaya, Storm, Google and Microsoft. Opportunities to progress both academically and within chosen careers clearly rest in working with Derry, both for researchers and industry partners. Storm has benefited tremendously from this relationship. Um, for example, we've been able to allow our staff to continue their third level education. The other thing that's really important to us as, a, as an Indigenous company is exploring how we will commercialise the IP and that route commercialisation working with Enterprise Ireland and Derry directly um, is proving very, very beneficial to Storm. Google each year awards research grants to uh, a certain select number of academic institutions around the world and we were delighted that they chose Derry this year. In addition to commercialisation activities, including licensing and patenting its technologies, Derry is a hothouse for new companies with spin-outs emerging on a regular basis. One such company is Sieval. So I'm the founder and CEO of a spin-out from Derry called Sieval, and our goal is to help people to find information about the music they listen online. So earlier this year, um, I've been granted a research award from Google to work on the next generation of mobile social software. So our goal there is to provide new architecture to uh, let people communicate on the, on the mobile web and on the social web. Uh, that's also really exciting because we got a sponsor from Google uh, that review our research and gives feedback and we collaborated with him to um, make something really useful, not only technology-wise, but also society-wide. Part of Derry's success can be attributed to its physical location in one of Ireland's most prestigious universities, NUI Galway. For Derry it's important to be located at a place which really cherishes knowledge the creation of knowledge, but also the teaching of knowledge. And that's exactly what is happening in NUI Galway. Well, the Derry team is really headed up by two main people, and that's Professor Stefan Decker and Professor Manfred Hoswood. And they are recognised right through all the research citations and all the benchmark and metrics that you have as being world leaders in their particular areas. And they've attracted a team behind them of people that are wanting to achieve and get to that level as well. And they're the ones that are leading the research there and are putting us up there in lights worldwide as part of the College of Engineering and Informatics within NUI Galway. Uh, we're producing the intellectual capital through the PhDs and Masters that we send out every year uh, to the workforce or to further research. If you look at it from a local level within Galway, the Galway area, um, the ICT cluster that's been developed here, both in multinationals and SMEs, right? It's a huge advantage to have a world-leading research institute on its doorstep, and it helps to attract more, more multinationals and SMEs to the area. It is trying to establish the equivalent of a Silicon Valley here on these shores that will act as a vibrant powerhouse of small indigenous medium Irish companies on one side and large corporations on the other, built around the research, the scientific research being carried out here in Derry. We have to capitalize on the intellectual capital that exists already in, in the country, that exists here in the university, in Derry, but also in, exists in, in the country and bring it together and leverage it. And for that, really we need to support from SFI, from, from the government and from the university to continue this kind of work. Equally important is reaching out to the graduates of tomorrow to pique their interest and an outreach program is achieving this objective. We also have a very uh, good education and outreach program where we go out to the primary and secondary schools and we educate those kids in the joys of maths and science. Okay, trying to get them back in and doing these type of subjects which have fallen off over the years and they would be the areas that we would be concentrating on. We see our role working with schools as mentors to try to benefit society generally and, and education in particular. And what we're trying to introduce at one area is the introduction of life skills that are needed to be the foundation stone of the knowledge economy and of the knowledge society. And one of those life skills is computer programming. There is a vacuum in the second level and primary level sectors at the moment, the education sectors, 
computer science is not a subject, and we're trying to overcome that by providing these courses. Equally, the success at Derry can be explained by the unique nature of the team itself. We have about 140 different researchers here from 39 or 40 different countries, and so you get a real diversity not just from people's backgrounds, you know, where they're from, but you also get this diversity of their experience. And that's what makes Derry unique. It's, its size, its critical mass, and the diversity of, of people which are bringing all the required skills and knowledge that is necessary to make progress in, in that area that we are working on, and bringing the world's knowledge together. The people here really bond. We really spend a lot of time together and it gives you the opportunity to meet a lot of these researchers whose work you've seen and spend um, intense time with them. When you bring together these people from all these different places with all this different experience to focus on network knowledge, you get a really uh, unique place. And attracting the right people to join this unique team is hugely important. Derry is attracting people because of the excellence of the research primarily. Uh, we are one of the world's leading web science institutes and people come here for the very fact that they have thought leaders here, world leading thought leaders in the particular subjects that they're interested in and they can work with them. They also come here for the fact that they can achieve their own academic goals so they may be doing a PhD or a master's or maybe postdoctorate. And also the fact that we have such a strong industry links that they can get access to world leading industry partners, such as web partners like Google, Microsoft, etc. I think we change the world for the better. And that is something that you can rarely do and really rarely have in any, any place where you can, can work. Now this really creates an opportunity to, to have, for your work, to have impact. And that's also why there is a good place to work. And finally, it's probably most appropriate to let this man have the last word, Sir Tim Berners-Lee, the creator of the World Wide Web and member of the Derry Scientific Advisory Board. I have a dream for the web in which computers become capable of analysing all the data on the web, the content, links and transactions between people and computers. A semantic web, which should make this possible, has yet to emerge. But when it does, the day-to-day -day mechanisms of trade, bureaucracy and our daily lives will be handled by machines talking to machines. The intelligent agents people have touted for ages will finally materialise.